Hey dudes, it's Whitney and Chloe here, and welcome back to the Doodle Dudes YouTube channel. Hey dudes, it's Whitney and Summer Cut Chloe here, and welcome back to our channel. As a doodle owner, I'm sure you know all too well the risk of tangles and gnats, especially when they happen behind the ears or on the belly. Now, there are a lot of products out there that can make our lives easier when it comes to detangling and dematting our doodles, but in this video, I'm going to be removing some pretty bad mats from behind Chloe's ears using... Cornstarch? If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more doodle content. You may or may not have heard about this before, but apparently a secret trick that groomers swear by is using cornstarch to detangle mats. Chloe's got some matting behind her ears, and we're going to see if cornstarch lives up to all the hype. This is actually the first time I've ever tried using cornstarch, so my reactions in this video are all real. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm also only going to be dematting the good old-fashioned way using just a slicker brush and metal comb. I personally use the Chris Christensen Big G slicker brush and the Andis metal comb. Alright, let's start. Simply take some dry cornstarch and rub some into a dry mat. Then use your brush and comb to brush out the mat, starting at the ends of the hair and working your way up to the root. Is that working? Oh yeah. Look how easily that mat was removed. Be sure to rub in more cornstarch when needed and just keep brushing it out until you can comb right through the hair with no snagging. If the mat is especially stubborn, pinch the base of the mat tightly to avoid excess painful pulling of your doodle's skin. Good girl. Okay, so yeah, the cornstarch doesn't work. It doesn't get the knots out, but this does. While there are special dematting tools on the market, they can actually cause damage to the coat and contribute to even worse hair matting. They are also highly dangerous as they are super sharp and can easily cut you or your dog. Check this out guys, the mats are gone. I then proceeded to work on the other ear which had a similar matting problem. In total, it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to demat both ears, but I f definitely feel like it could have taken a lot longer without the cornstarch. On that note, if your doodle is quite matted, please be mindful of this concept called humanity over vanity. According to a lot of professional groomers, spending more than about 15 minutes trying to demat your doodle is just not worth it in terms of the pain and discomfort that he's going to experience during the process. So at that point, shaving down your doodle is actually the easiest and safest and most comfortable option for everyone. So there you have it. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever tried cornstarch to demat your dog. Also, be sure to check out our completely free ultimate guide to matted doodle hair on our website, which I will provide a link to in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the Doodle Dudes channel for more doodle content. Later, dudes!